Hello everybody, happy Friday. Here we are again. It goes by quickly, I tell ya. I hope you guys have had a good week. Let me see if I can find you. Make sure I'm in the right place. We had a brief winter for three days and now we're back to summer. <laughs> That's how we do things down here in South Texas. I'm happy to report there were no new snake sightings this last week. It was too cold, I think, for the snakes, but it's gonna be warm again, so you never know. You never know, you guys. All right, I see you. Hello, everybody. Okay, good, good, good. You guys were in the right place. Um, What are we doing today? We are doing um, three projects using the Above It All bundle. Do you guys like this bundle? I think it's so cute. Um, where I live, there's no snow. Um, there's no ski lifts. There's no gondolas, but I still love it. I think it's really cute. I think it's unique. And it's something that you probably don't have in your collection, a ski lift stamp set. So I've got uh, three projects today. I posted one yesterday and I'll have another one on uh, Monday for you, okay? Um, today we're gonna do two cards and a treat holder that uses just the trees. I wanted to show you that you can use the stamp set without using the little gondola as well. I hope that I'm calling it the right thing. The little ski lift gondola, I don't know. I've never been in one, I have no idea. <laughs> Thanks guys, thank you. Yes, we had achievements this week, it was fun. I appreciate that. Um, okay, let's see, I'm gonna turn you around. We've got a new All-Star tutorial bundle that I wanna show you. I have also added some lights. Let's see how my lighting looks. Let's see if it looks any better this week. I was up here dangling <laughs> this afternoon or this morning actually, trying to improve the lighting. I really think because I have this giant window, which I thought was gonna make the lighting fantastic, is actually doing the opposite and it's washing out all of the lighting that I have hung above us. I don't know. Um, yeah, it looks a little bit better. It's not as good as it was in my old studio. I hate to say that, but, you know, what are you going to do? All right. Well, anyway, we have a new All-Star Tutorial bundle. Um, this is my monthly tutorial program that I do with 11 other Stampin' Up! demonstrators. Um, every month we pick a suite of products and we each design a project that's exclusive to the PDF and we film a video. And then one of us assembles it. His name is Bruno. He's amazing. He assembles all of our tutorial information into one PDF. Um, and so then you can get this PDF for free when you spend $50 with me. Um, you can also buy it for $15 in my PDF store. Um, this one's a great one. They're all great. I feel like I say that every month, but this one I think I especially like because it's autumn, it's fall, and it's seasonal. Um, we don't always do seasonal things. We kind of stay generic within the annual catalog, but this one uses the um, amazing All About Autumn suite. And so my project this month is a set of stacking boxes. The six by six paper is really good uh, for making lids for boxes. And so we made a, a stack. I've got the measurements in there showing you how easy it is to do these. This could be a little set of, of you know, socks, jewelry, and candy. I don't know, something fun if you're gonna give somebody a gift to make them the little boxes. So anyway, that's my project. The majority of the other projects are cards. Um, a little bit stepped up kind of to stretch your creative uh, juices, if you will. It's really good if you have this suite to get the PDF to help you with ideas. All right, so it's available now in my PDF store. We're having a blog hop next week where we will all have a second additional project. So make sure to look for that. Um, if you are a subscriber, um, if you subscribed to this back in the summer, it went out one day late. It's the first time in like six years that we went out one day late. Um, there were some technical issues, but it has been delivered to your inbox as a subscriber. If you are a subscriber and you didn't get it, just message me, email me, please. Um, okay, this is the last time I'm gonna mention my um, retreat to go. This is the biggest thing I do all year. 
Um, we have several fun things in the works being worked on right now. This takes a month at least to get together, put together. Um, I have actually already cut all the projects and packed the projects in their little kit this morning, but we've got a lot of other things to do for this um, in order for these to go out the door. I have two spots left. That's it, two spots. So probably by the time I am off of here today, they will be filled. But the PDF is available in my PDF store if you would like it. Um, there's nine, nine projects and more than $50 in full product that will be in your box. And um, these will ship um, either the day before Thanksgiving or Tuesday or Monday. I try to get them out the Monday before Thanksgiving, but a lot of times, I don't know. That's my goal is always Monday by thanks before Thanksgiving. And then you'll have time um, over the, you know, hopefully at the end of the week, you'll have time. You'll have it by then and have time to sit down and just kind of spoil yourself with a little retreat in your own home. Um, so the link is in today's PDF. I've sent it out an email as well. So if you want to grab, snag those last two kits, one of the last two kits, make sure you do that um, before it's gone. All right, uh, Clip Create this month is, this is the last time I'm gonna talk about November's Club Create because the deadline is the 7th. And that is, look at my new watch face, it's very cute, it has a clock on it. If you have um, an Apple Watch, you can download an app on your phone that are just watch faces and you can change them and, and uh, um, you know, like personalize them. Anyway, I was excited this one had a calendar. So today is the third. So the deadline for November Club Create is Tuesday, the 7th. And then starting Wednesday, the subscription period will be for December's kit. And December's kit will not be a holiday related kit. It's gonna be pinks and light colors and florals and it's gonna be super cute. I'm not totally done with it. You guys, okay. I just have to admit this. I know I had the stamp set. I know I ordered it. But when I sat down to design those projects this week, the stamp set was nowhere to be seen. I don't know if I just dreamt that I ordered it or what. So I had to order it and <laughs> overnight it so that I could get those projects designed, get the PDF typed up and the video filmed by Tuesday. Um, so anyway, today I was frantically working on those. I've got three of the five designed, um, but they, December's kit will feature the modern garden stamp set and the modern oval punch. Um, so that's December, but this kit, this will be the last Christmas kit um, for Club Create and the deadline to subscribe to this is Tuesday. If you're already a subscriber, you don't have to do anything. You're already subscribed and uh, it's the Marius Trees bundle. It's been very popular. Everything in this kit has been on um, unorderable or back order at some point. Two of the things still are, but they're going to be back in time. I just know it. <laughs> I have strong, strong, sub um, what's the word I'm looking for? I just know they're gonna be back in stock. I believe in stamping up, getting it back in stock. No, they, they give us dates and they are really good at getting things usually back within those dates. But anyhow, that's that. Next week I'll have the other one to show you for December. Um, the other thing I was gonna tell you guys, um, where's my basket? Um, for the retreat to go, there's an add-on class and it's the uh, Berry Cute or the Berry Christmas Sweet six cards and you can add that onto your retreat. I told you guys I would have this as a standalone card class and I did not get to that this week. I promise to have this up early next week for those of you that are not doing the retreat and you want this class to go. Um, it will be an option um, for those of you who are not doing the retreat. So um, have patience with me. I promise it's coming and um, be on the lookout for that early next week. I just, I didn't get to it this week. We had a lot of like things, you know, like appointments and running here and doing this and I don't know, just didn't get to it. Okay, I think that's it. Wow, I didn't have a lot of things to tell you. Um, so Facebook Friday, if you've never joined before, I pick one product. This week we're doing the Above It All bundle and then we make three projects. There is a free PDF over at pinkpuckeroo.com. Um, two of the projects you're definitely gonna need the measurements for. So the measurements are on there. And the supply list are here as well. Full disclosure, I was very distracted when I typed this supply list up last night, so I'm hoping everything is there. It was like a three ring circus in my house last night as I was trying to type this up, but hopefully everything is there. Um, also, the two links for those two things are right here. And if you like the projects we make today, you would like them as a free 
project kit, we call them make and takes. Um, I will send them free to anybody who spends $35 or more between now and Monday at midnight. Here's the host code. Um, please use the host code if your order is under $150. If your order is over $150, don't use the host code because then you're going to get stamping rewards. That's free stuff. And I will still send you the projects for free. Okay. They look like this. They come with everything that you need except for stamped images and anything cut with these dies. So you will need the bundle to make the projects or use them with whatever you have. You can order anything you want as long as the order is $35 and has a host code. If I don't see the host code, then that means I don't send you the projects. Okay. Okay. Um, also, I have a prize for... Becky White. Becky is one of the people who shared the video last week. She was chosen at random to win our beautiful um, All About Autumn paper and copper and natural ribbon combo. Becky, I think I have your mailing address, but please email me just to verify. If you guys would like to win a prize this week, I'm giving away the Sending Cheer Bundle. Boy, when I took that poll this week, lots of you want to see Sending Cheer for Facebook Friday, so don't worry. It's coming. I have things already in the works. Um, for this bundle. This will be a good one to help you get ready for Christmas in December. Um, so anyway, if you would like to win this bundle, make sure you share the video, um, this video here on Facebook or on YouTube, and I'll pick somebody at random um, and send it to you for free. All right. All right. Let's see. What did I miss? Did I miss anything important? Happy Friday. Hello. Hello, everyone. It's good to see you, Christina. I'm glad you made it live. I know I'm I'm one of those that can never watch things live. I always have to uh, I always have to um, watch the replay. Nina, when you try to register for this class, it comes back saying sold out. Are you talking about the retreat? Did it say? I mean, I just checked it like 30 minutes ago. I'd be surprised if it was already sold out. I wonder if. The date. Hmm. I'll check on that. You know what? Let me pull my computer over real quick. Let's just check on it real quick. You guys tell me what's going on with you while I look this up. We, it's my daughter's birthday today. My youngest daughter, she turns 15. No, it's still open and there's two, still two spots left for the joy of Christmas retreat. It's showing it's still, still open. Um, she turns 15 today. We have basketball today and tomorrow, so there won't be any big celebrations. We're going to take her out to dinner. And her choice, you guys, second year in a row, she wants to go to Chili's. <laughs> I'm like, really? Chili's? Come on, let's go somewhere better than Chili's. But no, that's what she likes. She likes the quesadillas there. Okay, it's your birthday. I suppose you get to choose, right? Thanks, guys. All right, um, let me grab my first tray and we'll get started. Today's projects, I think, are pretty easy. Nothing too terribly difficult. This first card was actually a swap card I did with my team. My team does a swap every month. Um, we try to do different themes. Hold on, I'm going to pull my hair up because it's hot all of a sudden. Um, we do different themes, sometimes, you know, like Christmas cards or birthday cards, whatever. Um, and I think this one was maybe new catalog products, but I made it a while ago. And I was going to use this paper right here. This is the bear paper, the very cute Christmas or whatever it's called, very Christmas designer series paper. And I was like, okay, what color will pop with navy? And I thought, how about flirty flamingo? Those two colors look good together. Now, I don't think there's any ski places that have pink gondolas. But who cares? It's super cute, pink and navy, right? I would totally wait for a pink gondola. If there was a pink one, I would wait for it. I don't know about you guys. But you could do it red also. <laughs> red would be just fine. There are two ways to make your gondola in this stamp set, if I can get my paper picked up. Okay, why do I have, hold on, I gotta remember what I have these pieces for. I have three pieces of white and I don't want to use the wrong one. Okay, yeah, that one goes there and that one goes there. Okay, we have a big piece. There are two ways to make your gondola. Um, 
in the set. You can stamp it, which is what we're gonna do now. Or if you saw yesterday's card, here it is, um, you can paper piece it. And we're gonna do that in the next project. Uh, paper piecing is just exactly what it sounds like, piecing different colors of paper together. That's usually my favorite way to, to make things. Um, but, you know, they're both cute in this instance. All right, so we stamped, I'm looking at that card, we stamped the gondola and the little hook, the little holder that holds it up, and Flirty Flamingo. Um, we're gonna cut those out. We're also going to cut out this piece right here. This is a great, like, landscape piece, and if you can see, it also embosses as well, which is nice. And look, my paper is too big for my mini. Don't you hate it when you do that? I'm using the mini cut and emboss today. I don't use my mini cut and emboss very often just because my big one is out and it's just always cranking. But I thought this week, you know, I really should use that thing more. It is so cute and it really, it is a lot easier on your, you know, your elbow and your arm because it doesn't require nearly as much strength as the other one. Now this little guy right here, I want you to notice how much white Oh, come on, how much white is left underneath that bottom line? I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll hold it up after I cut it. But that's intentional so that you can put adhesive there and adhere it to the top of the, the little gondola. All right, so here's our little, our little car. And see how it leaves that white space? That's for you to put adhesive and to adhere right there. Pretty clever. All right, right now let's cut out this. Now this is much longer than we need it, right? So my piece I don't think is even that long, so I'm just gonna cut part of it. This um, mini cut and emboss machine, this boho blue one, I believe is available online. Um, we have white and we have boho blue. Boho blue was just a uh, promotion during celebration last year and uh, they have put them now in the store. Very, very cute. All right, now let me bring over all my other pieces. I have, and <laughs> when I made this recording yesterday, I forgot to do this until after I had put all the papers together. So I had to, I had to do all kinds of weird things to get it to stamp in the right place because I didn't want to get it on my cardstock. So if you want to see a boo-boo, go watch the, the individual recording of this project. Now I'm going to stamp the lines and stays on. And the reason I'm doing stays on is because this is um, vellum. And vellum is a non-porous surface. So memento will be kind of sticky. And look, I got a little oh, right there, but that's okay. We'll cover it with a sequin. Um, Memento won't dry as quickly as stays on. Stays on is really good for your non-porous, like vellum or your metallic papers. Um, you can use other colors, which we will use on the next project, but I'll just have to show you some tips on that. Um, the other thing I was gonna tell you about stays on in your photopolymer, it makes it real sticky for whatever reason. So when you stamp it, you kind of have to peel it off on the vellum, I don't know why. So just watch out for that, and it will stain your photopolymer, which doesn't bother me. I don't know, some people I think don't like that, but it doesn't bother me. All right, so let's put this all together. We have got our Berry Christmas, or Berry Cute paper. I think it's called Berry Christmas, right here. And then we're gonna take, um, oh, we've got a piece of vellum that I stamped on. Am I just looking at it? Right here, hidden. And I'm gonna put my adhesive way down low, down here. And I'm gonna kind of put it where I think the gondola is gonna be, like right there, to hold it down so that I can't see the adhesive. Look, that even blended in. You can't even see my little boo-boo now. All right, and then we'll take our little snow edge landscape piece, actually, yeah, let's make it a little bit longer because I want it to go to the edge of the card base. Let's bring the card base over here. This is Night of Navy. And 
we'll stick that right in the middle. And then we'll trim this off to the edge like that. Do any of you already have this stamp set? I saw somebody made a, um, like a trailer out of it, like a, um, like an Airstream, little trailer, little camper. That's the word I'm looking for, camper. It's so cute. So look for that, you'll see it on Pinterest. All right, I'm gonna stamp the little, whatever this is called, the wheels that go on the track, right there, also in stays on. Oh, I forgot to adhere this. I'm just gonna give it some time to dry. Just put a little bit of glue right there. And right there, like that. Okay, let's give that a second to dry. Um, the sentiment I'm gonna stamp in Night of Navy on a stylish shape white, basic white banner. Oh, something I forgot to tell you guys. Next week, on the 7th, I believe, we have a product, an online exclusive product release. I've shown you some of it. The garden, the little chubby animals. Um, I can't think of what else the paper, the beautiful paper. And there's going to be some other things too that they haven't shown us yet. So be on the lookout for that on Tuesday. I'll send everybody an email so that you don't forget. But new product, yay! And I do not believe it will be Christmas. I don't think. I think it'll be non-Christmas, non-holiday. All right, let's put our little thing right there. And then we will get our sequins and add a few. Now, you guys know if I made it for a swap, then it's not very hard to make. So if you're gonna have to make a bunch of them, you gotta simplify. Otherwise, you will hate yourself. <laughs> and you'll be like, why did I agree to make 20 of these? You gotta keep it simple. And simple can be cute, right? Super cute, that's it, that's it. Um, no, um, ribbon or trim, but I don't really think it needs it. What do you guys think? I did put a piece of white in here and I was thinking later, you could even continue the little, the lines, you could stamp the lines like this and then just stamp the little gondola hanging like off the side, like it was going up and then it went over, you know, like off the side. I thought that would be cute, but I thought of it after the fact. I didn't get it done. All right. Let me see what you guys are saying. Oh, yes, Flirty Flamingo Gondola with Pool Party Background is beautiful, yep. Everybody loves Pool Party, don't they? It's such a good blue. All right, that was easy. Now the next one is a little bit stepped up. We're gonna do a fun fold next. Not too difficult, not too difficult. Just a few more steps. Man, I'm gonna get done early today. I don't know why, today's projects just are really easy. All right, when I thought about a fun fold for this card, you guys, I thought it has to be a bridge card, like this. You see how it's hanging? Usually when I make a bridge card, the bridge is on the bottom, but I put the bridge at the top. But of course, I did end up adding the snow to the bottom as well, so you do have a bridge there. But our little gondola is just hanging. Can you guys see that? Now, a bridge card folds down like this to go into your envelope. But then when you take it out, it pops up like this. And you can write your message there on the back. Easy, right? Easy. Okay, now we've got several steps. Here's another one. Depending on how dark your ink pad is, and I just re-inked mine, so I think it's gonna be kind of dark. It will depend on how dark your background is. So let's start with that, because it's gonna need some time to dry. Let's see, I have grid paper somewhere over here. Let me grab it. Hold, please. All right, so you're definitely gonna need grid for this. This is a piece of basic white that is four by seven. And I'm, instead of using Pool Party, which you could definitely use, I'm using Balmy Blue. And I'm gonna take my blending brush and I'm gonna color 
the whole piece. And I'm starting off on the edge and working my way in. I say this every time I use a blending brush, make sure that you lay your brush down first on your grid paper so that you don't get any hard, you know, things like that. Because when you first set it down, it is gonna leave kind of a hard bump. Ooh, my pad is really, really juicy. I'm gonna start over. I gotta remember that I just re-inked. So I gotta go a little bit lighter. A little bit lighter. I just did another card using Fleur de Flamingo this way and I was so heavy handed I could not get it right. Sometimes I just am like, wow, what's wrong with me? Why, why can I not have a light touch? All right, while I'm doing this, tell me what you guys have watched on TV this week. The one that I've been waiting for, All the Light We Cannot See, came out yesterday. And if you have read the book, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be a little mad because they have changed the story. Why did they do that, you guys? That All the Light We Cannot See book is a perfect story. I do not know why in the world they would change it. They had the characters doing things that the characters in the book would never do. I'm not gonna give any of it away, but if you haven't read the book, you'll be fine. But I just, and it's out of order. It's not starting like the book. You know, sometimes they, like Outlander, I feel like is a really good, um, took the book, turned it into a show, it's really good. But this one, I don't know, I'm very disappointed. And my husband just finished the book yesterday morning. So he's like fresh on it. And he was like, this is totally not how it was in the book. I hate when that happens. But it is shot beautifully. Actors are amazing. So I'll watch the rest. I'll give them that. It's a World War II story. If you haven't read the book, oh, so good. Okay, so we've got our blue sky. And we are going to take our water. And we're just going to flick some water on here, okay? And you want little drops and big drops. So just kind of use your finger and let it sit for just a second. And while I do that, I'm gonna see what you guys are saying. Texas Rangers World Series Victory Parade, Linda. Oh yes, okay, congratulations to the Texas Rangers. I will, I will concede, yes, they played very well. They are not my Houston Astros, but at least we kept it here in Texas, right, Linda? Oh, I know, I know. All right, so we gave that a few minutes to do what it needed to do. I'm gonna take my paper towel and kind of blot it. Then I'm going to take some white craft and get a little bit out of my, um, on my silicone mat. And I'm looking for the lid because I want to use it to flip. I didn't have it earlier. I'm going to have to use my finger and it's going to get messy. All right, take some water and get it kind of wet and then flick. Ooh, I'm like flicking everywhere. Cover your workspace. Move all your important things. All right, so we're just adding several layers of snow. We want a snowy sky, okay? And <laughs> if you have the lid to your water painter, use the lid instead of your finger, all right? And then make sure you wash your brush, which I will do when we are done. All right, so now we're gonna move this out of the way and let it dry. All right, let's move all of this. We're gonna give that some time to dry and we'll do our stamping. Um, do I have a sheet big enough? I've done some of the stuff ahead of time, okay? You're gonna need two of these, two of the snow landscapes. You need a real red gondola and the little outside decoration part is white and I have put an adhesive sheet on it. I highly recommend that you do that because then you can just set it down like that, okay? And then on the back, we're going to put a little bit of vellum on the back. So put a little bit of adhesive, just a little. You don't want it to squirt out the sides, so kind of spread it out. And get your strip of vellum and just set it down on there. All right, like that. Give it some time to dry. 
Um, cut out one of these, remember the little hook thing in basic black. Cut two garden green trees. Now we have two tree dies, that's this one right here. And this one is for what we're gonna do next, our stamping. Um, also, well, I'll go in order, let's see. Where is my stamp? Right here. We're using garden green and I'm gonna stamp the big tree twice. Okay. One and two. And then the little tree, we're going to stamp. How many times did I do it? Three times. One, two, three. All right. And then cut them out with their matching dies, which I did ahead of time. Look. I'm very organized. All right, so you have that. Now, I've got this long skinny strip of uh, smoky slate, and I'm gonna use Pebbled Path. Do I need to put grid paper down? I don't think so. Mm, maybe, I don't wanna get this on my little mat there because it's not going to come off all right so we're going to do this right across this is what the gondola is going to hang from and actually you know what while i'm thinking about it because this really needs to dry also we're going to glue this this little hook right here okay because you want it to be really dry when you adhere it all right, now also, here is the little, the wheels. Remember we stamped those last time. Stamp it on smoky slate and cut it out. The matching die is right here. So cut it out. And now you've got all the pieces that you need. All right, I think we're ready to put it together. I wonder, I did that really fast. I wonder if my other piece is ready. You're going to take a piece of thick basic white. And I don't remember the size, but I already scored it. Let's see, it's eight by four and a fourth. And you're gonna score it at one and a fourth, two and a half, five and a half, and six and three fourths. Basically, you've got four one and a fourth inch sections. And then the section in the middle is three, okay? All right, now let's bring this piece back, our snow. Looks like it's a snowstorm for sure. And I'm just gonna dab it, make sure everything is dry. Looks pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna cut this down. Where did I put my trimmer? Here it is. We're gonna cut this down. You need four one inch sections, and then one that's like about two and seven eighths. All right, so I'm gonna start by doing my one inch sections. There's one, there's two, three and four. And now this piece is three inches. Let's make it a little bit smaller, about two and seven eighths. Now we will adhere the large section here in the middle. You know what, this is kind of, because it got really wet, it's pretty warped. So let's be a little bit generous with our adhesive. We'll put that right there in the middle. And then we're gonna put one in each of our little sections. Now, if you wanted, what you could do is you could start off with a balmy blue cardstock and just flick the white on there, let it dry, and then use it as your card base if you wanted to skip some of these steps if you wanted. Okay, so there's what your card base looks like. We're going to adhere one of these right here. And I'm gonna do it a little bit higher so that I can see it. Do you guys see right here how you can see it behind? For it to be able to be seen, it needs to be a little bit higher off of the bottom, all right? And we need it to be three inches. So I'm just gonna cut off some from both ends.
and make it three inches long. Okay, and we're gonna adhere that flat about that far up. All right, so now let's do, let's use many dimensionals. I used liquid glue earlier today, but I'm thinking the more dimension we have here, the more fun it's gonna be. All right, so many dimensionals, and we'll put these little trees there in the background, because they're far away. That's why they're smaller than the ones that are close. You guys are quiet today. Y'all are very quiet. Nobody's telling me what they're watching on TV. I read a book or listened really to a book this week that may quite possibly be one of my favorite books I've ever read. It's called Homecoming by Kate Morton. If you guys have read, she has a few other books out that she's put out. The Clockmaker's Daughter was out, her last one, and it was so good. Homecoming, it's long, it's complicated. There's a lot of characters, but it was so good. So if you're looking for a book, it's new. Um, see how I folded this? You're gonna fold the two inside score lines in and these score lines out. Now, we want to get this in the right place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay, cause this is how it's gonna be in my, um, in my envelope flat. So I'm gonna put adhesive here and here. Cliffy needs um, suggestions for things to watch. Okay, Cliffy, um, we are watching Lessons in Chemistry, which is also a book. It's on Apple TV, it's pretty good. And we're watching Loki on Disney, which mm, you have to you have to be of a certain taste. It's a little sci-fi. I've kind of lost interest in it, but my husband likes it. Um, what else, you guys? What are you watching? Bosch Legacy on Freebie. I've never heard of that, Denise. Gotta look that up. Yeah, you guys, tell us what you're watching. All right, now this one is again too long, so we're gonna adhere it. I'm gonna put adhesive there and adhesive here. Hopefully I got enough there. And do that like that, okay? Cliffy, you just, she said she just finished Bosch. Okay, I've heard of Bosch, but I have not watched it. Isn't it like a law lawyer? One of those shows? I just, I don't know. Is it good? Y'all are so quiet. Where is everybody today? How many people do we have on? I can't even tell. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of people. Y'all are just quiet. Or am I boring today? Is that what it is? <laughs> I have no good stories for you this week. No snakes. Um, we swam in the pool on Sunday afternoon and then a cold front came through and it dropped to 39 degrees. That was very exciting. <laughs> very exciting around here but then it's already in the 80s. It's gonna be in the 80s this weekend. Cop and Lawyers. Okay, Denise. Have you watched, what's the one on The Lincoln Lawyer? You guys told me to watch that and we really liked that. That was good. The Fall of the House of Usher on Netflix. Lisa, I saw that. Where did I see them talking about that? That does look interesting. World War II, World on Fire is very good on PBS. I love anything PBS does, Patricia. They do things really well. Yes, you're focused on my amazing work. Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> Thank you. So amazing. So, so amazing. I appreciate it. Um, what else are we watching? There was something else that was coming out that we were going to watch. Oh, I did finish the book. Um, I, talked, I think I talked about it last week. The book, The Only One Left. Some of you had read it. It was a little strange. It was kind of hard to follow. It was, I mean, it was interesting, I will say that, but it was, I don't know, it was very, I mean, I definitely didn't figure it out, I'll tell you that for sure. World on Fire, Murders in the Building, Nydia, that is so good. Mur only Murders in the Building is on Hulu, and it is so good. I like that too. Yes, Cliffy, all the light you can, cannot see. It just came out on Netflix yesterday. The book is my second favorite book of all time behind Outlander, of course. And I mean, I love that book, but I was, the show is not following the book at all. 
So if you haven't watched, if you haven't read the book, then you're going to be fine because it is beautifully shot. I'm just, I feel like they've cheapened the story a little bit, which I guess they have to remove things, you know, they have to remove details or it'll be 20 hours long. But I just felt like, I don't know, but it is good. All right, so now see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to sandwich it right there like that. Okay, and then get your handy dandy closed pen and just hold it there until it's dry. Now, a minute ago, I told you when you stamp on vellum, you need to use stays on because stays on dries like that. Well, if you want to use a colored ink, you can do that on vellum. You just got to be very careful because it will smear. So either stamp it and set it aside, which I did this yesterday, so it's totally dry, or take your heat tool and heat it. Just be real careful because vellum will, it turns into like a shrinky dink if you get it too hot. It will shrink up and be all weird. So be careful with it. And then there you go. There is our bridge card. Now the clothespin has got to go, but there you go. What do you guys think? I think that's really a fun, fun fold. Perfect for the little gondola so that it can hang. I was trying to think about a card that moves. How could I do it? One thing I will note right now, I should have done this a little bit higher. Let's see if we can make it go up a little bit higher. That way it's hanging a little bit more, like there's more room. Like that. I need a little more adhesive here. Um, if you're really clever, you could do something with like a magnet or something and make it slide across. That's kind of where my brain was, but I just couldn't work out the details in time, right? Like something to get it to slide. That would be very cute. Somebody work on that, okay? <laughs> okay, there's our second card, our fun fold for the week. Um, Patricia says, I'm reading a murder mystery with ghosts called Murder in G Major. Ooh, that sounds interesting. It was made into a movie for Hallmark. They are different, but I enjoy both. Yeah, you know, different is okay, but the way that they, um, the way that they change the characters, the char okay, here, all right, I'll dive in a little bit. All the light we cannot see, the main character, the boy, was very small and weak, and he, you know, barely survived. Well, in the very first few scenes, he's doing things that do not fall into that description. That's what I'll say. So it was a little like, what in the heck is happening? And I listen to books. I do read. So what I do is I go to the library app and I request the book in both audio and in, you know, like Kindle. And sometimes I have to wait to get both. But when I have them both, then I can listen, which I love books on tape, you guys. They're so good. Um, I can listen while I work or driving my daughters back and forth to their practices. Um, and then at night, I read in bed. That helps me go to sleep. TV, sometimes I watch TV when I'm working, a lot of times, if I'm not listening to a book. But also, that's what I do in the evenings with my husband. I sit in there with him, and we watch TV. That's when I find time. We have been watching nothing but baseball <laughs> for the last few months. I'm like, yes, finally baseball season is over, so we can actually watch some other things. I mean, you know, I'm trying to, like, engage in the baseball and you know, like something that he likes, which is I like baseball, but every night, every night, yeah, I think it's a little too much, a little too much. I mean, maybe three nights a week I can handle it, but he wants to watch baseball every night. So, but anyhow, anyhow, thank you guys. I'm glad you like it. A string and a piece of strawly. So that's a very clever idea to make it slide. Hmm, very, very clever. Okay, one more, and I wanted to make something that did not use the little gondola. Um, I wanted to show you guys that you don't have to use the little gondola. So we're going to use just the trees. The trees are really cute, and we're gonna make a K-cup holder. This is peppermint hot chocolate, because you guys know I don't like coffee. Peppermint hot chocolate. Now, you could totally do coffee, K-cup, whatever you want hot cider, whatever. But the sentiment says warm winter wishes. So I thought 
that would be a good sentiment to use for something warm, okay? All right, now I do wanna check something. On my measurements, I guessed last night. Yeah, I think the measurement is wrong for this. I said it's two by four and it's actually two by five. So we need to change that on our PDF. Let's, let's look, let's make a correction. All right, right here where it says two by four, make that two by five. I meant to do that before. I went live and I forgot. All right, let's make our box first. I linked some peppermint cocoa for you guys if you need to order some from Amazon. But of course you can get them probably at grocery store too. All right, we're gonna start out with a piece of real red that is three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And I'm gonna score it. Uh oh, hold on. I'm going to score it at one inch on all four sides. One, 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 one. That's it. And that's all the scoring that you need to do. All right, so now take your bone folder and burnish all those lines and then grab your scissors and snip those score lines and cut off the outside corner. We have a dimensional hanging on, on two sides. And it doesn't matter which two sides as long as they are opposites. All right, so snip, snip. Let's do that a little bit better. And snip and snip, all right? Now, most of this box is gonna be hidden, so don't worry too much about this part. Let's get our liquid glue. Whoa, we got some linen thread. Liquid glue, and I'm just gonna put liquid glue on all four of the tabs and fold them in like that. And my handy-dandy clothespins will hold it closed. Did you guys ever watch Blue's Clues with your kids? He would say, your hand, handy dandy notebook. <laughs> I always think of that when I say handy dandy. The good old days when the babies were little and now they're teenagers. Ugh. Goodness, teenagers. All right, two pieces of real red, two by five. One piece of designer series paper, that measurement needs to be changed too because it's probably four and three fourths. Yep, four and three fourths by one and three fourths. I'll change that on a PDF. But if you've already printed it, make a change. This is the very best trio punch. I think that's what it's called. Very best trio punch. And it cuts two different corners and a little slot there. So that's what we're gonna do here. Okay, like that. And then we'll do, this is the St. Nicholas designer series paper, still available on the online store only. All right, now, how come I'm losing things? How did I already lose my adhesive? Well, good thing I have another one. So let's put this on here, like that. And then you need a hole punch. One, and then let's line these up and punch the second one. Two, there we go. Um, all right, stamping, we're gonna stamp that tree, that large tree twice. This time I'm using shaded spruce. Okay, now here's a sad tale for you. The, pay, the gold adhesive back gold and silver glimmer, which is what I used right here, has sold out. It was an online exclusive. And it was only while supplies last. And sadly, it is gone. I hope you guys got it. But you can use, if you don't have any gold glimmer and you need some, we've got two different gold glimmerish types paper. We have the, is it called distressed gold? And then we have the, the little six by six um, paper. I always say it looks like a disco ball. I can't remember what that paper is called. It's in the annual catalog. 
specialty paper and it's really good too. So you could use that or you could just use gold foil. Gold foil is always good. Ah, warped, warped plates make things sensitive. They don't want to stay where they should. Okay, let's try that again. Hi, Lois. Oh, the library. I love the library. Gosh, we don't go to the library very much anymore. The library is a fun place. All right, now let's stamp our sentiment. This is the smallest contour scallop die, and we're going to stamp it in Versamark. Warm Winter Wishes. Versamark is a clear ink. You won't see it woo, until the magic happens and we sprinkle it with gold embossing powder. And then, ooh, I almost dumped that out. <laughs> that would have been funny, embarrassing. Okay, hold on, where's my um, heat tool? It's like all wrapped up down here. Oh no! Uh oh, did I unplug it? I did. Okay, hold please again. All right. Hit it with your heat tool. It'll take just a few seconds, maybe 10, 10, 15 seconds. I need my reverse tweezers for this. But they are not sitting here. All right. We're ready to put all of this together. Dimensionals. Where will do this one? Like we'll do one high and one kind of low. Another thing I want to tell you guys, it's coming up shortly in the next couple of weeks. Stampin' Up will have their seasonal sale. I don't know the exact dates, but it's coming up. Instead of like a Black Friday sale, Stampin' Up does a seasonal sale. So it's usually around the middle of November. So be on the lookout for that. And then the last chance list comes out pretty soon. And we'll be getting ready for the spring catalog. How does that happen? We still have two months. I shouldn't rush these things. But that's what's happening in November. Okay. That goes right across there. This is the nested essential die. I didn't mention that. It's the second largest, I do believe. All right, tear and tape. Let's put tear and tape at the bottom of both of these. I'm gonna do two lines of tear and tape. And then we'll get our take your pick tool and peel this off. This is a really easy treat if you need to come up with something, a favor, a party favor. Or, you know, please bring treats for the meeting or whatever. I think this is pretty easy. You can use hot chocolate or coffee. All right, now you're just going to line that up down at the bottom like that. And then this one goes right here like that and we'll put our hot cocoa in there and this ribbon also an online exclusive this gold ribbon it comes in a two pack of gold and silver it's really good just good you know to have in a pinch a gold or silver ribbon always works with everything all right, let's try that again. And voila. Snip, snip. Now, all we have to do, isn't that paper pretty? I think that is so pretty. Let's put dimensionals. 
top, middle, and bottom, because the paper, see how it kind of curls around? So you want it to stick middle, top, middle, and bottom, like that. And that's it, easy peasy, no gondola required, right? Still cute. Those trees are great. I love the way that they're drawn. All right, well, that is it. How did I get ready, get done so quickly today? Projects were pretty easy, I told you at the beginning, pretty easy. All right, now I have two bonus projects. So hold on, let me clean up and I'll show you. Oh, I thought I heard my dog. That is my dog outside, but I think he's in the backyard. It sounded like it was right outside the window for a sec. Um, I had a swap card that used this um, bundle and I cannot find it. I don't know what I did with it. So this was yesterday on the blog. Um, I used the mountains from the other, the other tree set, not the Marius trees, but the other <sighs> forever forest. What's it called? You know, it just has trees. That's what those mountains are from. And I added some wink of Stella to give it kind of a snowy look. Um, this will be on Monday. This is a non-Christmas card. Let the adventure begin, right? Add some trees on the inside, navy, old olive, and gray. Kind of a masculine card, I think. All right, so that'll be on Monday. Here are today's three projects. Look at that all stacked up like that. We did um, just the swap card, which, did I put it away over here? Here it is. We did my swap card, we did a bridge card, and a cake up holder. Now, if you guys want these um, as a to-go, make and take to-go, make sure you get your order in by Monday at midnight, $35 minimum. Um, please use the host code. If you don't use the host code, I don't send you the projects. That's how I know you want the projects. And that's it. Next week is... What is that stamp set called? <laughs> I can't remember. Let me grab my catalog. Let me see. Well, I have it out. Hold on. No. Well, where is it? Let's just take a look so you guys can know what we're doing next week. I do have the owls coming up week after next, winter owls. But next week, I had planned on using what's it called where is it you guys oh right here gift of giving i'm gonna have to remember that gift of giving <laughs> this one right here so get your blends ready next week okay stamp and blends all right you guys have a great week i hope you have a relaxing weekend and um don't forget to check in on Tuesday to see the new online exclusives. And if you want these projects here, make sure order is in by Monday at midnight. Order whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Just as long as it's $35, I'll send you the free make and takes. Thanks so much for joining me, you guys. I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.